안녕하세요. 여러분 네, 아, 다 준비했습니까? 예. 네. 네. 잘못 드립니다. 마음을 잘 준비했습니까? 예. 네. 네. 자, so our d o k y o n s u n i was kind enough to say a few words about my life. 그래서 저에 대해서 저에 대해서 좀 말씀해 주셨는데요. But I will tell you a little more. 조금 더 제가 말씀해 드리겠습니다. 25 years ago, I was in a uniform like you. 제가 25년 전에 여러분들처럼 무복을 입었습니다. It was compulsory. 한 가지 수도 역시 이제 의무 직원 제도예요. And I was maybe one of your passengers if you drive an armored personnel carrier or APC. 그 APC 전차 경 중인 뭐라고 그러죠? 전차를 만약에 타셨다면 아마 제가 그 운전하는 게더 좋을 수 있을 것 같아요. Carrying a submachine gun, jumping in and out of tanks, that's infantry life. 아시겠지만 기본적으로 내고 이렇게 탔다가 나왔다 하는 게 바로 통용의 역할이죠. So what can I possibly tell you? You are a soldier. You follow orders. 제가 여러분 무슨 말씀을 드릴 수 있어요? 여러분 부인입니다. 명령을 따르죠. I'm not your superior. 저는 또 여러분 상관도 아니에요. You have a superior with a bunch of stars on his shoulder. 여러분 여기 어깨에 걸어진 특별히 뭔가 상관분들 다 있을 겁니다. You have to follow him. 그분을 따라야죠. And, and I advise you do. 그리고 그렇게 하라고 여러분 지금 말씀드립니다. But what can you do with your mind at the same time? 그렇지만 그와 동시에 여러분 마음을 무엇을 할수 있어요? That's our job here and now. 이게 바로 지금 여기에서 해야 할 일입니다. As as are, 여러분 바로 여기서 중단으로서 지금 여기에 현실이 무엇인가 이거 대상사로서 해야 할 일이 무엇인가 진단해야 합니다. All of you have a weapon. 여러분 다 무기 갖고 계시죠? Whether it's a sidearm, a submachine gun, a machine gun, a tank, or an airplane, you all have a weapon. 그게 권총이 됐든 축구가 됐든 머신과 나라에서 기어주는 게 있거나 아니면 비행기가 됐든 여러분 다 지금 무기를 지니고 계십니다. You all have your oath to bow as a soul. So that makes you believe maybe that you are special because you have a weapon. 이렇게 무기를 갖고 있으니까 뭔가 참 특별하게 이렇게 해서 여러분 생각하실 수도 있습니다. Maybe it gives you the right to kill under certain circumstances. 그리고 상황을 만든다면 살인할 수 있는 그런 권리를 But no, your job is not to kill. Your job is to defend the country. And if that requires taking human life, then unfortunately you have to do it. <laughs> But the weapon itself is not giving you any special right. You are born into Korean body, so you have a responsibility toward this country. Because of that responsibility is why you bear this uniform. And in 18 months, 20 months, 24 months, you will take this uniform off and you turn to Leila. What will you do then? At that time, you have to lose a soldier's mind 100%. Just like now, you have to be the correct soldier's mind 100%. How can you do that? We heard the Heart Sutra, we all chanted it in Urima in Korean. 아까 그 단야신경 한국말을 좀 많이 공부하셨죠? But I may be able to give you an even closer translation to your situation. 주만 그 한국말 번역을 여러분 상황에 더 가까운 번역을 들려드릴 수 있을 것 같습니다. In your situation, the two most important concepts are friend and enemy. 여러분 상황에서 가장 여러분한테 중요한 개념은 누가 친구고 누가 적이냐 하는 것입니다. But you should see that friend and enemy are man-made. 주만 친구라는 그리고 저기라는 개념이 다 인간이 만들어낸 거라는 것을 보셔야 합니다. During the Second World War, my country, Hungary, was on the side of Germany. 
저희 그 한과 리체조 금년과 리는 세계지 차세기든 세계대전 동안 독일 편에서 싸웠습니다. After the war was over, the Soviet Union aided us and put us into the Warsaw Pact. 그런데 전쟁이 끝나고 나서 여자분이 저희를 바르샤바 조약 쪽으로 이어넣었습니다. 한과 리는. So the concept of enemy and friend changed 180 degrees. So 아주 한번 사이에 친구와 적이 100% 아 180도 바뀌어 버린 것입니다. After 1990, when the Soviet Union fell apart and my country returned to the Western Alliance to NATO a few years later, again the concept of opponent or enemy changed another 180 degrees. 그리고 1999년 소련이 붕괴하고 나서는 다시 헝가리가 나토에 가입을 함으로써 다시 국가적인 국가 친구만의 개념이 똑같이 되었죠. The same is true in your situation. 여러 상황에서 이 것은 마찬가지입니다. Now your biggest problem is your brothers in the north. 지금 여러분의 가장 큰 문제는 지금 북한에 있는 동포들입니다. But if politicians change their minds, they become your brothers again. 그런데 정치인이 마음을 바꾸면 이 북한 주민들이 여러분의 친구입니다. So you should see that the concept of friend and enemy are made in the mind. 그래서 적이 적이라는 개념, 친구라는 개념이라는 것과 인간이 마음을 만들어낸다는 것 그것을 꼭 보셔야 합니다. And depending on the time and place where you are born. You have obligations based on your karma. 그리고 어디서 언제 여러분이 태어났느냐에 따라서 여러분 업에 따라 타고난 의무가 생기기 마련입니다. If you are born 150 kilometers north of here, you are wearing a different uniform, and you're pointing the weapons 180 degrees different than you have now. 여러분이 한 200km만 북쪽에서 태어났다면 지금 여러분이 입고 있는 옷과 전혀 다른 구복을 입고. 그리고 여러분의 형부리가 지금과는 완전히 반대방향으로 향해져있죠. So, Avalokiteshwara Bodhisattva, Bonsan Bosal, in her infinite compassion, saw that the five skandhas who won are empty. 그래서 관세로 보살님께서는 무한한 자기 속에서 오 온이라는 것이 얼마나 궁한 것인가 보셨습니다. In your situation, if you have compassion towards human beings, you can see that the concept of friend and enemy are empty. 여러분, 여러분 상황 속에서 또 분명한 자기 시대에 있는 가치가 되시다면 얼마나 적당히 친구라는 분명히 공부한 것인가를 볼수 있을 것입니다. That means that it was made by human mind alone. 그것이 무슨 뜻이냐면요. 이런 개념이 결국은 인간의 마음이 만들어진 것을 공부한다는 것을 보십시오. So the same is true about Air Force, Navy, and Army. 그래서 육군, 해군, 군, 이런 기능들이 없이 마찬가지입니다. So whatever weapons you have, originally they are not necessary. 그렇기 때문에 어떤 기술을 원래는 필요한 것이었습니다. So the airplanes, the rockets, the missiles, the ships, the destroyers, the submarines, originally they are not necessary. 원래는 더 필요 없던 것이 없던 것이죠. The guns, the mortars, the submachine guns, the shoulder fire missiles, originally they are not necessary. 이런 모든 무기들, 총이나 뭐 수류탄이나 이런 것들이 사실은 필요 없는 것이 없거든요. But you, in your situation, have to use them. 하지만 여러분, 여러분 상황에 있는 것을 사용해야 하는 그런 상황입니다. What kind of mind do you have when you have to use your weapon? 그렇다면 그 무기를 꼭 사용해야만 상황에 처했을 때 어떤 마음을 사용해야 할까? Do you suddenly become aggressive? 갑자기 공격적인 사람입니까? Suddenly you want to kill because maybe the hormone rush pleases you? 갑자기 호르몬이 섞치면서 살인 충동을 느낄까? Watch out! 조심하십시오. Do not attach to any concept in the mind. 마음에 있는 개념에 매착하지 마십시오. Perceive your situation and relationship and do correct function. So, 지금 여러분의 역할과 그리고 여러분 주변과의 관계를 정확히 보시고 올바른 기능을 수가 수행하십시오. If you do that, then you can arrive at the point when there is no enemy and therefore no fear. 그리고 여러분이 그것을 할수 있으시다면 어떤 두려움이 없고 또 적도 없는 그런 장소로 가실 수 있습니다. You may already know the worst enemy. It's not another soldier wearing a different uniform in a different country, but it's your own fear. 아마도 이미 여러분이 여러분 최악의 적은 다른 나라에서 독립복을 입고 있는 적군 병사가 아니라 여러분 자신의 공포라는 것 이미 알고 있습니다.
The Buddha himself had to conquer his own fear in his practice. I was practicing for six years. Very, very hard. Before his enlightenment, he didn't know how to practice, so he tried many, many things. The last 49 days, he was sitting under the Bodhi tree without changing any of his location or position. 마지막 49일 수행을 하시면서 부처님께서 우리 수나무를 다 앉으셔서 전혀 움직이지 않으셨습니다. On the last three days, especially the last night, three very important things appeared. 그래서 마지막 3일, 이 49일 마지막 3일, 특히 마지막 3시간 수행을 하시는데 세 가지 중요한 일이 나왔습니다. Three women, the women of, or the daughters of Mara, the embodiment of desire. 첫 번째로 마귀의 세 딸들, 문망의 이의만의 세 여인들이 나타났습니다. But he just said that he didn't follow the illusion, so he became free from them. 그렇지만 부처님께서는 그냥 가만히 앉아서 이 환상을 쫓아가지 않으셨기 때문에 영광에서 잘 떨어질 수 있었습니다. And next, a huge army appeared. 그러고 나서는 엄청난 대군이 등장했습니다. That was the embodiment of anger. And that army had numberless demons, demigods, all kinds of beings with very fierce weapons, numberless around the sky. If you are alone, you cannot fight them. But the Buddha didn't move. So all the fiery arrows that were shot into his direction, the last moment turned into flowers and fell on the ground. Your enemies, if you ever have to fight, are not like that. What does this teach us? This teaches us do not be afraid. The Buddha was no longer a Kshatriya or a warrior. When he cut his hair and went into the forest, he became an outclass. He left his social group behind. The appearance of the army was the appearance of his warrior karma. What did that teach him? It was teaching him the same thing as six years before when he decided to leave the palace. 부처, 그것은 부처님이 6년 전 군정을 떠나기로 결심하셨을 때 배운 것과 똑같은 것입니다. 아무리 위대한 왕이라도 죽는 게 아닌 것입니다. 아무리 위대한 무사라도 결국은 죽는다는 것입니다. 이것은 우리가 결국 정복할 수 없는 것입니다. 인간이 아닙니다. 그럼 이것이 무엇일까요? You cannot fight time. Time passes whether you like it or not. And those who are born will inevitably die. Looking at life and death on this basis, it is completely crazy that human beings kill each other. As long as we have anger, we have armies. As long as there is anger in human society, we will have enemies. So your job is to do soldiers' time without anger. 
Like I said, this uniform is not a license to kill, it is a mandate to defend your country. And sometimes you have to take life to do that. But don't have this I behind it. Do not have this I kill you much. Then very bad karma appears. You attach to anger, you attach to enemy, you attach to killing, and that takes you to hell. Especially after you finish soldier time, very different. It's called post-traumatic stress disorder. So it's like getting out of, <coughs> of the mountain lion. When you get in, you don't see it. But when you want to get out, the lion is standing right there. When you leave the soldier's karma and you leave the soldier's situation, that's when the difficulties come, not during. Following orders is very important, and you should do that. But having a strong anger inside, that's not the job. And for that, you have to eradicate your own fear. You have fear, you have anger, you have aggression. The three are the members of the same family. So if you do not have any anger, then you do not have any fear, and you don't have to be aggressive. You just do your job as a soldier. And I realized the importance of this 25 years ago. In the last four months, we had intensive mountain infantry drills. The most intensive part was two weeks, and it's funny, but I'm still not at liberty to say where we were. Of course, it was somewhere in the mountains, somewhere in Hungary, and that's it, that's all I know. But we did various exercises inside the APCs and outside of it, in group and alone, and small attack force and larger defense force. <coughs> And one exercise was to go to the ledge of the mountain, and down in the valley there were uh, uniform enemy targets, and you had to kill them as they were moving. It was a plateau size exercise, 10, 12 people, and each and every one of us had like one minute, and in quick succession you had to do this. It was a tactical attack formation. You got two bullets and you had to hit three targets. And my biggest shock was that all the three went down in the first three attempts. And the response, the, reflect, the reflection from his side was 
something that I never expected. 그런데 이렇게 제가 그세 발을 써서 연주를 세 발을 다 연주시켰을 때 내안에 일어났던 그런 반응은 제가 결국 기대하지 않았던 것입니다. I can kill. 아, 나도 죽일 수가 있구나. And so can you. 여러분도 마찬가지입니다. We were taught, we were conditioned, we were trained to do that. 지금 여러분이 바로 죽이는 법을 배우고 또 그렇게 할수 있도록 조건화되고 훈련하고 있는 것입니다. Nobody ever forgets that. <laughs> and it wasn't even a real war. It wasn't even a real human being, just a form. But what you should see that your military training makes you cross lines that you would never do otherwise, and that is unfortunately necessary. 여러분이 평소하고 절대 건너지 않았을 그런 차를 건널 수 있도록 그렇게 지금 만들고 있는 것입니다. 그래도 또꼭 필요한 일이 있습니다. That's what you are here for. To do some things that you would never do otherwise. Why? To defend your country, your people, your family. 여기 여러분이 가고 있는 이유입니다. 여러분 평소에는 절대로 하지 않았던 일을 여러분이 지금 하기 위해서 여기 있습니다. 왜냐하면 여러분이 국가와 여러분 사회와 가족을 지키기 위해서죠. But if all beings, even your enemies, have the same Buddha nature, the, the same enlightenment nature, how could we possibly want to harm them? <laughs> Most wars begin with this reason. The other hit first. The other attacked first. So then what can you do? Make it very, very clear for yourself. The other person is not somebody you are afraid of, you are angry with, or you want to kill. The person is unfortunately in a different army. That's the only reason, that's all. At the moment, the opponent, the enemy is dead, you are required to help them. If they are injured, you have to help them, carry them back to the POW. 그리고 적군이 쓰러지는 순간, 여러분은 그 적군을 도울 의무가 있습니다. 그리고 병원으로 가져야 할 의무가 생기겠죠. In the first world war, there was so much time along the frozen front lines between France and Germany that for months soldiers were facing each other just a few hundred meters away. 2차 세계대전 중에 대치 상태, 적군이 전선을 앞에 대치하고 있는 상태가 몇 달간 계속됐는데요. 그래서 한 몇백 미터 떨어진 앞그 거리를 사이에 두고 적군이 프랑스하고 독일이 서로를 맞추하고 있는 상황이 수개월 동안 계속됐습니다. So what happened? There was no act of war, and these soldiers they started to shout over to the other trench, and soon they started to make friends. 그래서 그 거리가 너무 짧다 보니까 싸우지 않을 때는 서로 소리를 지르면서 이제 소통을 하기 시작했고 그러다 결국은 승부가 됐죠. This happened in 1915 and 16. 이제 1915년, 1916년입니다. And when the superiors learned about it. They completely terminated this friendship and ordered them to start fighting. That's our reality. That's our world. That's our human situation. And once we're born, we cannot really change that. But we can change ourselves. We can change our minds. We can change our karma. You can be a very good soldier, very, very good soldier, without anger, aggression, and fear. You do not have that unnecessary emotions and superfluous thinking. And if you don't have unnecessary thinking, you have no interest. You don't have unnecessary emotions, you don't have interest. 
이거 이런 필요한 감정이 없다면 그 것이 장애가 없으면 없어지는 거예요. You know the difference between life and death. 여러분 생과 사의 차이가 무엇인지 아시죠? One moment. 그 순간은 순간 찰나의 것입니다. Lose the moment, you die. 그 찰나를 잊게 되면 여러분 죽습니다. Attain the moment and be here in the moment you live. 그 그러나 그 순간을 얻는다면 여러분 사실 수 있습니다. You have thinking, you lose the moment. 근데 여러분이 생각을 하는 순간 그 순간이 사라집니다. You have opposite emotions, you lose the moment. 그 순간 갈등하는 감정이 또그 순간이 없어집니다. You have I, my, me, you lose the moment. 내가 어, 나, 내 거, 이런 생각을 하는 순간 또그 순간이 사라집니다. Even though you might be driving tanks or APCs or your infantry, you have bare hands for that training, right? 여러분 보통 되게 전차를 갖다 놓는 것이지만 그래도 맨손으로 하는 그 훈련, 싸움, 육과 싸움 훈련도 받으시죠? I look at your knuckles and that tells me that you 여기 지금 손이 보니까 훈련 다 받으신 것 같은데요. What makes you win? 여러분, 뭐가 여러분을 하여금 믿을 수 있게 한다고 생각하십니까? What makes you more skillful than your friend who is just your opponent for five minutes? 지금 5분 동안 여러분과 싸우는 친구보다 여러분이 싸움을 더 잘하게 하는 그게 무엇일까요? That you are more focused. 그것이 집중입니다. You pay attention better. 더 많이 집중, 주의를 집중할 수 있게 하는 것입니다. You are more present. 바로 그 순간에 더 You do not attach to your thoughts and feelings. 그 순간은 여러분의 생각이나 감정이 여러분의 방향에서 안 쓰는 That means you attain this moment and keep it clear. 그것이 바로 여러분 그 순간을 가지고 그 순간을 계속 유지한다는 것의 의미입니다. And if you do that, you can not only survive because you know that as a soldier, your job is not only to survive. Your job is to complete the mission. 그러면 여러분 살아남는 거 이상을 할수 있습니다. 여러분 병사로서 생존 이상의 여러분의 임무를 완수해야 된다 아시죠? But if you keep this moment clear and your mind clear, then at the end of your service, your family doesn't just get a dog back, they get you back, and they will be extremely happy. 그래서 여러분이 이 순간에 이 순간을 계속 가지고 있고 여러분 마음을 갖다 명료하게 유지할 수 있다면 여러분 군 공부가 끝난 후에 여러분의 이 개표가 돌아가는 게 아니라 여러분의 개표가 돌아갈 수 있게 됩니다. If you remember all this that I've said in the last 25 minutes, I think that's plenty. But I would be more interested in your questions from now. 제가 지금 이 시간 동안 꽤 많은 말을 했는데요. 다 기억하시면 좋겠지만 사실 저는 여러분 어떤 질문이 있는지 가 궁금합니다. Any kind of question. 어떤 질문이 있는지. Good question. Soldier question. Everyday life question. Any time. Be brave, soldiers. Like you have a special jacket, you know, or special uniform, but if that catches on fire, you immediately have to take it off and throw it, otherwise you burn. 이 무엇 비슷하냐면요, 군복이나 옷이 불이 붙으면 이거 벗어서 확 던져버리시죠. 그러지 않으면 여러분도 거기에 내게 됩니다. 
Same as anger. You attach to anger, it burns on you. But the moment you take one step back, it's like taking off the burning uniform and let it burn just at, at a distance away. With same thing with desire. You have a girlfriend or somebody may be married, have a wife at home, you attach to the desire, that image also clouds your mind. So So, return to original mind. This mind has no thinking, no emotions, no anger, no desire. And then you can perceive this karma and let it go. But to be able to do this fast, like in a moment, you have to practice every day. When you are angry or afraid in the field, there is no kind of, hmm, what did Sunim say? He said, catch my breath, bring it down to touch it, boom, finish. Everybody has training with some machine gun, right? Even, even operators do. Same. So you remember the drill to put the magazine into the submachine gun, go into shooting position and range the target. When I started my training from a standing position to a lying down targeted position, it took me over one minute. Two months later, 20 seconds. Same thing with mind practice. When you practice, then it takes time to realize what kind of emotions you have or thinking you have. And in time, it takes time to disengage from them and let them disappear. 마음에 내 마음에 지금 어떤 감정이 일어나고 어떤 생각이 일어나고 그것을 보고 그것과 거리를 두고 이것이 사라지는 걸볼 때까지 그런 훈련을 마음을 지키는 데 시간이 걸리고 But if you practice, it happens in a nanosecond, very quickly. 그런데 여러분이 훈련을 하게 되면 그 시간이 100만 분의 1초로 확 줄어듭니다. Moment it appears, it disappears. 그래서 일어나는 순간 그냥 사라지게 됩니다. Okay, that's why. Some kind of inside <coughs> practice is very important. Outside you have many weapons. Inside you have only one, your mind. That's the only weapon you have. But that doesn't kill anybody. It only kills illusions. If you don't use that inside weapon, the outside weapon fail. Okay. More questions? One country again, many times fighting, fighting, war, war. 
So, a few hundred years ago, when there were no firearms, only arrows and hand weapons, there was a very big war. And there was a legend that one of the army generals was actually a magician. So this army general would conjure up a host of very fierce fighting gods and demons and make them join the army. So the army seemed much, much bigger and more fierce. We call that these days psychological warfare. You have it just in a different form. But what do those people do, the opposing army? Because if they don't do something, that everybody runs in fear and shock, and it's worse than bombs or poisonous gas because everybody loses heart, everybody's afraid, and it's everything's finished. So the opposing army's general, he knew about them, and he put a very big glass hole on top of a high pole. And he said, when the demons, you know, illusory army appears, and everybody look at this sphere, this glass ball, and do not move your eye gates. So it happened. And the demons army came closer and closer and closer, but before they reached the real human beings, they became dry leaves in the air and disappeared. Now you may ask, how does this old tale, this legend, help me in conquering my fear? This glass sphere or big wall helped the soldiers keep their minds clear. So find that inside. If you return to original mind, that has no fear, no aggression, no desire, nothing whatsoever. So fear is dependent on causes and conditions. It is not permanent, it comes and goes. It's not absolute. Sometimes there's bigger fear, smaller fear, or no fear. It's not absolute. So when you are not in a combat situation and it appears, you can ask, where does this come from? It's like the rain. The rain is dripping down on the ground and you're asking, where does it come from? And your eye gets with up, up, more rain, more rain, clouds, and then the clear sky. So you may be afraid of your very fierce commanding officer or getting injured or dying and then your eye would be lost and then there is no eye originally. And when you get that point, all fear disappears. So, 
무서울 수도 있습니다. 하지만 그걸 쭉 따라가다 보면 결국은 아무 없다는 것을 알게 됩니다. 그 순간에 반하게 모든 두려움이 다 사라집니다. So originally, there is no fear, and if you don't make it, then you don't have it. 그렇기 때문에 원래는 두려움도 없습니다. 여러분이 그 두려움을 만든지 안 만든다면 두려움도 없습니다. So return to the mind that doesn't make anything. 그렇기 때문에 아무것도 만들지 않는 그 마음으로 돌아가십시오. Then you can see clearly, hear clearly, taste, smell, think, and act clearly. 그러면 여러분이 보고 듣고 맛보고 만지고 이런 것이 조금 명확해지면서. Then you are not a good soldier or bad soldier. You are just a hundred percent soldier, just doing it. 그러면 그 순간 여러분은 좋은 명사가 아니고 나쁜 명사가 아닙니다. 그저 그 순간 100% 명사가 되는 것입니다. But outward, you are friends and you are superiors. We say, oh good, just did it. 물론, 물론 여러분 친구나 특히 여러분 상관은 내가 참 좋은 명사를 잘했어 이렇게 말하겠죠. More questions? Yeah. The problem with training is very hard. It's really a memory. Yeah. And I think they ask how to watch anger, frustration, or anything like that. Then how can I throw up this feeling of anger, frustration, or anything like that? Because I'll have very tough training next week. Yeah. How can I do it? Well, your first job with soldier is to repeat your question in Korean for your friends. 경사로서 지금 여러분 첫 번째 여러 번 처음 하셔야 될 일이 지금 하신 질문 한국말로 같이 해보시면 돼요. 제가 그 훈련 진짜 되게 힘든 훈련에 있어서 힘든 훈련을 할때 분명히 짜증 나고 화도 나고 그런 마음들을 갖고 있을 텐데 그런 마음을 어떻게 버릴 수 있고 그 순간에 집중할 수 있는지. Okay, very good question. So, it will be very hard training. I know. What you should do is 100% do it. Don't think about the past or the future or some alternative present at that time. 그 순간에 과거나 미래에 대해 생각하지도 마시고 아 내가 여기 있을 수도 있었을 텐데 그런 생각하지 마십시오. Here's the catch. If you don't do it 100%, then something is staying out of it. It's a dualistic consciousness, and you cannot 100% get out of it. 그런데 여기서 이제 비밀이 하나 있는데요. 여러분이 100% 그 순간에 집중하지 않는다면 마음이 불어 걸립니다. 그러면서 그 다른 어떤 의식의 다른 부분이 생기면서. That's why the teaching says originally this moment is complete, but it doesn't have anything fixed in it. 그래서 불법에서 이렇게 얘기를 하죠. 지금 이 순간은 모든 것이 완전하다, 온전하다. 하지만 그 안에 정해진 것은 아무것도 없다. The Diamond Sutra says the mind, which is divided into past, present, and future, cannot retain awakening. 그래서 그 반야신경에 이런 말이 나옵니다. 마음이 과거 현재 미래를 나뉘어지게 되면 깨달음을 얻을 수 없다. That's the wisdom of the diamond sutra. 이게 어떤 반야신경의 가장 큰 지혜이죠. And it has this very practical application that this moment has past, present, and future, all of it in it. 그런데 이것이 우리 현실에도 직접적인 적용과 사용이 가능할지도 모릅니다. 지금 이 순간에 바로 현재 바로 미래가 이 순간에 사실은 다 들어있습니다. So don't think about past, present, or future when you do this training or even afterwards. 그렇기 때문에 그 훈련을 하는 동안 내 과거, 내 현재, 내 미래 생각하지 마십시오. 훈련에서만이 아닙니다. When you do it, 100% do it. 뭘 하면서 100% 하십시오. When you stop it, 100% stop it. 멈출 때도 100% 멈추십시오. Originally, you have no interest in doing this, but if you're attached to your thinking, you cannot do it. 사실 여기 그렇게 하는데 어떤 장애도 없었습니다. 그런데 여러분이 거기에 대해 생각을 하는 것을 시작하면서 장애가 생긴 것입니다. This linear time is our creation. We make it. 사실은 이 수직적인 시간이라는 존재도 우리가 만드는 것입니다. You ask the dog next door, the Jin Dokke in the next house, what's the time? What will you get? Woof, woof, woof. That's all. That's all they know. 여러분 옆집에 있는 진돗개한테 지금 몇 시야? 한번 물어봐 보십시오. 말말만 지킨 할 겁니다. Or you ask these trees, do you get old? 나무한테 여러분 물어보십시오. 너는 나이 몇이? 
Or do you remember when you were just assembling? <coughs> they would just only flutter their leaves in the wind and enjoy the sunshine. Time is created by human mind. And the way you have your mind, that determines your experience of time and space. So 100% that start and finish are very clear. What is your job at this moment? If you have any ideas about the moment, then it starts to shape. Your idea and the world's expectation are always different. 네, 여러, 내가 생각하고 있는 것과 그 세상이 나한테 기대하는 것을 늘 그때 말해 드립니다. 그래서 명령을 따르라. 100% 따라주십시오. 100% 하고 끝나라 100% 하고 주십시오.